spring is supposed to be a high energy season, but some of you may be experiencing very little spring in your step these days. Up next, a doctor has some ideas to help you rev up your low energy. Stick around. For your health, I'm Kat Carney. If you're constantly stressed out or regularly suffer from low energy, you may need some energy therapy. A treatment method, my next guest says, is being embraced in institutions around the country. She's Dr. Judith Orloff, author of Positive Energy, 10 Extraordinary Prescriptions for Transforming Fatigue, Stress, and Fear into Vibrancy, Strength, and Love. Dr. Orloff, thanks so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Now, let's talk, we were talking in the break about why you wrote this book. Energy is something that we're all looking for, so why, why this book? Well, I wrote Positive Energy because there's so much negativity around. Everywhere we go, I had, my patients walk around tired, exhausted, um, with techno despair, so much technology and so little um, replenishment of our energy. And so I wanted to write this book to give people strategies about how to build energy and enjoy their lives. Now, you mentioned techno despair, which is something that is sapping <laughs> a lot of people's energy. And I was telling you, I am addicted to technology. I get completely stressed out when I don't have my email. Right, but right. am I also getting stressed out because I have so much email? Oh, absolutely. A technology can drain your energy in excess. And so if you're at your computer too much, it can take energy from you and so it's important to take breaks it's important to breathe it's important to drink lots of water um, and to meditate and to come back to yourself to center yourself so it's maybe wise to take a day take a day away from the computer it's wise to take at least five minutes every few hours away from the computer and not stay there entranced because that could uh, drain your energy. Now, sometimes it's not just technology that's draining our energy, it's people. And you it mentioned is. a particular type of person, the energy vampire in our lives. Yes. Who is that? Yes, I've written a chapter on energy vampires. These are people that suck our energy dry, where you meet them and you're feeling fine. And then suddenly your energy goes down and you start feeling exhausted or sick. And on an energetic level, these people can take our energy. So we need to know how to protect ourselves from that. And what's one strategy that we can do, use to protect ourselves? Um, one thing I suggest is a visualization where you visualize white light all around your body, a protective shield. So if you're at a dinner table with your mother-in-law who's blaming you and criticizing you and you can't get away, then you have this protective shield so the negativity can't get to you. And also to set limits with people. There's a vampire called the Sob Sister, the one who uh, gets you on the phone for two hours and you listen and listen and you're exhausted you have to set limits with this person and say I could only listen for five minutes great it's a way of protecting yourself great the book is excellent it's called positive energy and again you break down all the different types and give people very specific strategies for fixing this so thank yes. you so much for stopping by headline news today oh you're welcome it's been my pleasure great and for your health I'm Kat Carney